hi guys it's Jay and I'm back with another video today I'm renovating the goth mansion now I really 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 hate the shape of like the tower roof and the fact that the walls are so extremely high and I know it's the goth mansion but the dark brick kind of like I don't know it's not gothic to me it's more depressing I don't know so the first thing I did was I lowered the wall height because I just I could not stand it one of the other things that I really really didn't like was the fact that some of the dark tones really didn't match so you see how there's these little I don't know what they're called corbels I don't know the right term but the things that are connecting the columns they're li this light gray and then the columns are dark gray and then the brick is another kind of gray and then <laughs> you have uh the fencing which is kind of darker gray it's it's a mess and a half i really really didn't like that now some people might think oh the brick is too light to be a goth house i completely understand that and i know i kind of um, messed with the goth aesthetic a little bit but I just wanted to make it look a little more let's say livable for your normal average person so I removed all these little things spandrels I just caught it spandrels <laughs> they <laughs> looked awful um, I uh, I really wanted to kind of not modernize it but again make it work with kind of a modern aesthetic i have a ton of um custom content in uh, on my general game in my general game however i tried to stay away from that i had a ton of stuff that i could have used that could have worked really well but i wanted people to be able to download it from the gallery which this is on it is uh, on the gallery. I think it's just called Goth Renovation and it's my username's jplays I think 278 if you want to check it out. I genuinely like how this came out. It's super super um, aesthetically pleasing I think because it kind of is still aligned with what the goth mansion was and has always been but it's a normal house from the outside um, kind of not giving away the dark uh, lore that is connected to the goth family whatever you want to call that um, I put in a ton of windows the original had also a ton of windows but um, I don't know I think the windows look a lot better against that light brick but I think that might also be just a personal preference and I'm super allergic to these high stone fences it just feels caged in I, I don't like it so <clears throat> first I try to not mess with the house structure in and of itself too much I did make the staircase a little narrower and I added a couple walls on the second floor the way you would in a normal renovation as well like you can't move too much around when you have a renovation going on because that would completely change the structure of the house and that's ex incredibly expensive which is something the goths can afford I know but let's stay a little realistic I know the scones is a little lower on the right side than on the left side in the hallway I fix this I end up fixing it don't you worry I try to save most of uh, the items as you can see most of the items I moved into the inventory to use a little later on um, but I just I genuinely wanted the aesthetic to work a little better now I love this pattern on this particular wallpaper I think it really works with that kind of aesthetic it's not super dark anymore but it kind of gives this almost regal look I mean they're fancy pants they're incredibly uh, wealthy by game standards I think um, 
I don't know. I just I just wanted to look fancy schmancy. Uh, yeah. So I think the biggest update I did was on, in Cassie's room because Cassie deserves it and Cassie has been through a lot. We know this. So she deserves to be happy and she deserves a room that kind of reflects that she's a teen and not necessarily a grandma with like the interior design of her bedroom. Also, <clears throat> our little baby Alex is up in the tower, kind of like banned up in the tower. That doesn't necessarily sit right with me. That poor Alex is kind of, like, up there. Uh, but I kind of tried to give him a little more age-appropriate of a room and make it, again, kid-appropriate. And, uh, yeah, tried my best to make it work with what the game is able to give me. Uh, I, I, I don't know how many packs I used. I try not to use too many packs. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. You can't necessarily fully furnish a house if it's so stylized. If you have more than one pack going in your game, it just it lends itself to you using more than one pack. I know the house is a Willow Creek house, which means that it is base game in general. However, I think there's a lot of things um, that make the aesthetic work a little better from other packs. That's just how I feel. Anyways, <clears throat> there's, I think one of the, the more difficult rooms for me was um, the main bedroom and like that open space in on the second floor because it just kind of seemed weird to furnish I ended up leaving the grand piano because what else would I have put up there um but yeah you're gonna see that in a second and just I don't know there's just a, a tristness and a darkness that I don't necessarily like yes again it's the goth house I know however I mean, Bella Goth is an icon, and she deserves an iconic house, you know? Not a... Morty kind of bought it and kind of kept it the way it was 150 years ago. More a, Bella took a ton of money, threw it at that house, and made it her dream house or whatever. I don't know. There's a lot of goth mansion renovations, and probably most of them are better than mine. Since you all know I'm new to this and I haven't really been uploading lately because I've been kind of criticizing myself about it. But this is just what I did and I'm going to share it with you guys and I hope you like it. And if you don't, I'm so sorry about that. Um, I don't know how far along we are at this point. Uh, I think we're about oh, only a third of the way through. So... I genuinely struggled with spacing in this house because like look at this huge house look at the look what is that what even is all of this like what none of this makes no like none of this makes any sense I think for me I knew if I completely pull everything out I was going to end up putting the same type of kitchen with the same type of layout on there in there anyways. So I just changed the swatches. I changed up or I kind of upgraded the appliances and tried to make it work a little better, hopefully. Um, make it a little more playable and make it a kitchen that is a lot more um, functional looking, I think. Um yeah. There's not much else not not much else uh, to say about uh this now. If you want to see more renovations of anything, of any like iconic build or if you want me to have another go at it, 
or if there's any like constructive criticism you have feel free to leave that in comments down below i'd be really appreciate it appreciative of that oh my gosh i can't english anymore i recorded like five videos today already i'm toast um <clears throat> anyways i think that is it for me i'm gonna leave you with royalty free music as i always do at the end of my uh, voiceovers and uh yeah i hope you have a great day if you like this video please like comment and subscribe if you subscribe, please ring the bell for notifications and I'll see you next time. Bye.
Your body's amazing.
so if you've made it this far thank you so much for watching once again um i hope you liked it i know it's a little unconventional uh, it's not 100 percent uh maybe the goth thing but uh yeah again you see goth villa reno that's what it's uh, called in the gallery uh again j plays 278 is my ID on the gallery. Um, if you liked this, like, comment, subscribe. If you've made it this far, leave a thumbs up emoji in the comments. That would be so fun. And uh, I hope I see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.